who is Osaloka Henry Obazi. Ah, it's a, a, a very resourceful person. Okay. He's a very detailed fellow. I said he's one of those people that if they say yes or they tell you anything, it's nothing but the truth. Is it? One of the most simple, cautious human beings I've ever come across. For one thing, he's, uh, we are both fat and uh, <laughs> so we have changed. But the viewers would like to hear from you directly. Who is Mr. Obaze Oseloka? Well, Oseloka Obaze is a simple-minded, patriotic Nigerian, uh, born in a small uh, village, uh, from a small village on the river uh, bank of the Niger in Anambra State, uh, Uchuchu Mordo, in Obaru, in Anambra State, Nigeria. Uh, educated mostly in Nigeria, uh, Christ the King College of Nature, and then in the United States. Um, went on to become a career diplomat, uh, worked for the Nigerian Foreign Service, and went on to work for the United Nations uh, for over 20 years. Uh, thereafter, retired and went on to become the Secretary of the Anambra State Government serving under Governor Pitobi and eventually Governor William Biano. 2012, when ex-governor Peter Obi of Anambra State needed a man of high integrity, a man who has the heart and love for the common man, a man who can add more value to his administration and to Anambra State in general, to occupy the position of secretary to the state government, SSG, Governor Peter Obi knew he could count on Oseloka Obazi. Somebody you can trust. It's somebody you can be sure that when he's given an assignment, he will do it the best way you can imagine. During his tenure as SSG to a number of state government under Governor Peter Obi, Obazi worked closely with the governor. Governor Peter Obi's administration performed so well, government wastage was cut and there was economic growth. There was employment everywhere. Worker salaries were paid promptly. Roads were tarred, infrastructures were built, investors were coming into the state, educational system was perfect. Natural disaster, flood victims were attended to promptly. Safety of a number of citizens were paramount to the government. Integrity and transparency became government watchdog. Anambra became a leading state, a role model for other states in the eastern region and the entire Nigeria to emulate. Peter Obi laid foundation of good governance and handed over to the current administration. During the flood disaster in Anambra, Honorable Oseloka Obazi and his former boss, Peter Obi, were in the forefront assessing the damages and helping the flood victims out. The, uh, the government, we had the uh, flood disaster of 2012, mm. um, and that fell on my shoulders squarely. I judged the best state in terms of our response to the flood crisis, our deliveries and uh, 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 providing soccer to those who were affected. Mm. Uh, we lost a lot of money, uh, but uh, we did uh, uh, react in a very robust and timely manner uh, on that particular issue. I think that was my proudest moment because uh, I come from the River Rhine area and even my own house was submerged. Mm. And uh, it struck people that as I was running around catering for other people, mm -hmm. uh, they did not even know that my own house was submerged until somebody oh. uh, in the media said it, oh. uh, that this man is running around trying to save other people while his own house was underwater. But at the end of the day, that's what government, government is supposed to do. Uh, you must be responsive to the needs of the people, right. especially when you are elected. And uh, the governor was elected, and we were the support cast, and we did what, what we could do. Hmm. After eight years of successful tenure of Peter Obi, Willie Obiano took over the leadership mantle of the state. The new governor wooed Osaloka to be part of his administration and asked him to continue to serve as secretary to state government. Eager to serve his people more, Osaloka once again accepted the role of SSG to a number of state under Governor Willie Obiano's administration. A number of state continued to enjoy more support within and outside the state. From for my part, I arrived there uh, with broad experience in 
the federal government functioning as a civil servant and the international system. So I brought some added value in terms of my own perception and knowledge of what needed to be done. Uh, the state in which Anambra State was then uh, was transitional, completing uh, the second tenure of the, of the governor. What was critical was to ensure that there was policy coordination, policy coherence. Mm -hmm. and then basically problem solving. So in a synopsis, uh, my responsibility was policy coordination, policy co uh, coherence, and problem solving. The problems were multifarious. They came in from different directions, and uh, I was always there. Obazi, who believes in good governance and integrity, left the administration of Obiano. The, the team of our government was continuity, and when we discovered that there was no more continuity. All the projects we left, none of them have been touched. Such, such as? The Onicham hotels, five-star hotels by the shop right, since, since uh, Governor Biano came in. Not a single block has gone on that hotel. The shop right at uh, Oka, completely shut down. Not a single cobble has been invested in, in it. The Ago Lake Hotel is kept there. Not a single cobble has been invested on it. Then they will shop in mall has been kept there. And we left 38 roads. 38 roads. My brother, when Pito B came in, Ngige left 13 roads. Pito B finished all those roads. If you want, I can, if you have time, I'll mention the roads. You know, I'll tell you why Ngige stopped it and where Pito B finished it. You know, it was continuity. But this time around, the state is in a mess. I feel like working with him. <sighs> I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> It's indescribable. <laughs> one, one straightforward, two straightforward human being. Okay. And then that uh, maybe that put him on the wrong footing with some people that oh, do not really like it told straight, you know. But he's somebody you can rely on, trust. Okay. You're sure what he's going to do at any given time when it has to touch on something, um, you know straightforward okay. you know where he will always stand okay. my name is Adeze Idigo Izundo MNI though Obazi is no longer in government for now despite all the political differences Oseloka Henry Obazi Oho still enjoys full support of his former bosses who believe Obazi meant well for a number of state and they all love and were eager to work with him Great guy, very articulate, uh, excellent guy to work with, and uh, a colleague of mine at uh, Christ the King College, Johnny Cha. Uh, very well bred. Uh, where was the China? Oh, precisely. I'm actually looking for a way of working with him again. Who is Oseloka Henry Obazi? Oho. Straightforward person. No cutting no no Very straightforward. Yes. Yeah. It, it's been. Um, it's been years of pleasant, pleasant um, big brotherhood. Mm. We unfortunately lost our father at a very early age. Sorry about and, that. And he became the, the father and he's still that till today. So I'm blessed to have him as a big brother. Yeah, but then many years ago, when he was at the United Nations, I was working with my very good friend, uh, Abraham Gambari. So I was uh, delighted when he eventually came back, become the federal government of, my, of our state. And I'm the oh, That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, first and foremost, we are, we are here to solidarize with him, okay. to stay with him and uh, urge him on. Okay. I served uh, this state meritoriously, and uh, we, we are here to support him. He's a nice man, okay. very humble, very humble and simple gentleman. We are here to support him. Thank you. Maureen Mokedi, my husband and I, retired Honorable Justice Mokedi. He's a wonderful man. We say um, he's traveled far and wide. He's worked in different capacities. So um, I am Barista Mrs. Ifezulike. Okay. I am a commissioner with <laughs> commissioner with the Local Government Service Commission. Okay. 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 Don't find the right words, <laughs> am I? I think he is a fantastic human being, okay. intelligent, okay. friendly, okay. handsome, okay. and the most importantly, hardworking. Yeah. He's a good husband and father. Yeah. I knew him from far back. Whoa. 
when we were kids. Okay. So I do respect him. Okay. He's a man of integrity. Okay. My name is Professor Soloch Kulabala. Okay. The Secretary to Anambra State Government. Oh, oh. Uh, but I think I remain the, uh, the you know, consummate, uh, if you like, man of principle and integrity. Yes, uh, he have is, that line yeah. So yeah. he's a man of uh, impeccable uh, uh, integrity and uh, honor. Yes. So okay. he has he's remained so yes. as his successor. Okay. Um, I remember one thing he told me when I took over from him. Solo, remember that the title SAG is Senior Scapegoat. <laughs> and um, I always, um, and Solo, remember that uh, government, or government work is not done orally, it's always on paper. So, so I've taken quite a lot of advice from him. Yeah. My name is. Uh Mrs. Obi Okeke, Deputy Governor's Wife of Anambra. Okay. <laughs> oh, I could write a book. Oh, I'm a writer. I could else? write a book on the fine specimen of a gentleman. Oh, okay. Worthy to be emulated. One of the one of the most simple, courteous human being I've ever come across. Oh. It was my uh, prophet in my dormitory. Okay, I think it's, yeah. A fine gentleman, a reliable human being, a person you like to be call your friend, and a very intelligent person. Former SSG, Anambra. Good Anambra State. What do you have to say about Mr. Abase? Mr. Abase is a disciplined gentleman, very nice, humble, Correct. intelligent, educated, a real diplomat and a friend of mine. Obazi, a philanthropist who believes in giving back to the community when Association of Nigerian Physicians in the Americas, ANPA, New Jersey chapter, was formed in 2002, Obazi was there to help the chapter grow up and flourish. Um, my wife is a doctor. This is, uh, I'm a Nigerian. This is an Association of Nigerian Physicians in America. Uh, I consider myself an integral part of this organization. Well, uh, this is the inaugural event. It's a, a starting point for a, a journey that is going to take a long time. Uh, a healthier and better Nigeria, which is their main mission. And I we wish them all the best. And I think uh, the way they've started off, uh, they ought to a great thing. And thank you for playing your part. I know Osaloka for many years. Um, he's always uh, there uh, whenever we're having meetings. As a husband to a member of the AMPA, he has given his ideas and contributed financially and uh, in advisory role as, as uh, a Nigerian, what we can do to help the people at home. And knowing him, I think he would be a very good person to lead in any position. An educationalist, Obazi is well known as the CKC man, cries the King College Onicha, his alma mater. Seasoned international civil servant, diplomat, strategic policy advisor, administrator, and literary critic, Mr. Obazi had a diverse and substantial background in political processes and a wealth of diplomatic, political, and administrative experience in national and international affairs, including direct experience working in countries facing complex challenges. Mr. Abazi is married to Dr. Mrs. Ufune Omo Abazi, a physician, and they are blessed with children. A widely traveled man and achiever, Oseloka Henry Abazi is contesting for the governorship of a number of states in order to bring real positive change to the common man. Give him an opportunity in a number of states to show you and take the state to a higher level. A number of states has so much potential. Just let us show you what he can do. Thank you all.